Hey, what's up guys? All right, so today in this video, uh, we're gonna show you how to recode uh, your Fox body. So, got this OBD1 scanner and a book. Uh, you can find this uh, scanner, pretty much all your uh, auto parts stores, O'Reilly's, AutoZone. Uh, I picked mine up at O'Reilly's. Uh, so, they're about 50 bucks. That's, that's what I paid for it. 50 bucks and it's a great little tool to have for these cars all right so what you need to do is just pop the hood on your car and here on the driver's side is where you're going to find your connectors for your scanner they'll be back back here in the back by a windshield wiper motor uh it should look something like this you can get a black connector and you got a gray connector And on the back of your scanner, you got two spots to plug in the connectors. Uh, your black connector is going to go here, and your gray connector is going to go there. I also like to mention too is uh, make sure your car is off before you plug in the scanner. Um, key on off position. Uh, it should look something like this. Your black connector and your gray connector. And make sure you have your scanner off. All right, we're inside the car. Uh, make sure your car's in, have your parking brake on. And I've always pulled my codes in neutral. All right, so just throw my keys in. Uh, make sure your car's up to temp before trying to pull codes because it will throw a code, I believe 21. Uh, it's your coolant sensor. I say coolant sensor at uh, our range. It's only because your car's not warmed up. All right, so just gonna turn the key on. Just turn it on. Looks look should look something like that. Don't start it. All right, so on the scanner, hit the on position. And you should have some three zeros there. And hit the test and hold button. Start, they'll start pulling codes that are what are stored on the ECU. Alrighty, uh, usually your scanner will stop on code 11. Uh, if, you, if that's the only code you have, then that's great because code 11 is good. Uh, I mean, system's okay. Uh, from there, I just turn the scanner off. I've already went through the process already. You'll start hearing some clicking sounds. Uh, just, it's all normal. And turn your ignition off. All right, uh, all you have to do is just disconnect your scanner. Uh, well, what I like about these scanners, uh, they hold the codes for you, so you don't have to keep your eye on them and uh, write them down, so they'll automatically store them in here uh, until you pull codes again, then it'll override, all the, it'll override all those. All right, so we'll come to our book here, and this is where all the codes will be at. Cars and trucks, uh, like the scanner. The scanner is good for 1981 through 95, anything with OBD1. Uh, the test I ran was a key on engine off test. All right, so right there in the book, in the first one we did the key on engine off test. You can also do a key on engine running test as well. Uh, it's pretty much the same uh, steps, but with the engine running. All right, we'll just turn on our scanner and hit memory. So my first code is 15. I'm going to skip this code because uh, um, the reason why I'm pulling a code 15 is because I'm running an SCT chip in the car. So that's why it's throwing a code 15. So we're going to go to the next one. It's code 85. We'll go back to our book here. All 
Alrighty. So you also want to look at the top two. The, look at the top two. You know, it has a little O on it. Uh, on your test conditions, you have see it says O, C, and R. So mine's an O with a code 85. So, so you notice there's multiple 85s here. So code 85 here could be shift solenoid. Then you have one here for cars only. Canister perch solenoid circuit failure. The uh, reason why I throw that code is because mine, mine's been deleted. So I see that code being thrown. All right, and it's also thrown a code 11. Uh, code 11 means system okay. All right, guys, so that's how you pull your codes on a Fox Body Mustang. So if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below, and uh, I'll see y'all later.